Autopilot comes as part of Azure AD Premium P1. If you plan to use Intune, which you probably do, then you'll need to use an Intune user license too. Now, Microsoft do make all the information about their licensing and retail pricing public, but it's really hard to make any sense of it. There's just page after page of service description, and it's really hard to separate the information you need from the marketing talk. Thankfully, a Microsoft employee by the name of Aaron Dinich has created and maintains an awesome resource for covering all aspects of Microsoft 365 licensing. It's at m365maps.com. Let's take a look. We'll just quickly explore this homepage. You can see on the left-hand side here, we've got the full list of Microsoft 365 subscriptions available here. And along the right-hand side in the columns, you can see we've got different variations on those licenses. We'll just scroll to the bottom on this page, and you can see we've got some additional options around how to use this page. We can compare diagrams, we can save particular diagrams, we can have a look at a feature matrix, review the change log from Aaron, have a look at a user guide, and maybe take a look at some downloads and change some settings. I've changed this website to be in dark mode, just so it's easier on my eye. We'll scroll back up to the top, and most organizations will have started out in the world of Office 365 through Office 365 Enterprise E3, for example. Let's take a look at that one. And you can see in this licensing diagram, you can see all the different features that are licensed within Office 365 E3. I won't make you go through all of these, but you can see that Azure AD Premium is not listed. The closest we get is Azure AD for Office 365, which is the free version you get with Office 365. Azure AD Premium is not included in Office 365. We'll head back. And if you take a look at EMS E3 here, you can see that Azure AD Premium Plan 1 is included in this SKU. It's that big box at the bottom there that contains all of the security related stuff to do with Azure AD. With this one, we also get Intune, MDM and MAM as part of the Enterprise Mobility and Security E3 suite. So this is one way you can license Autopilot. Let's head back. Most organizations now are encouraged to increase their license SKU from Office 365 E3 to Microsoft 365 E3. Let's take a look at that. You can see what this actually includes is all of the Office 365 E3 suite plus Enterprise Mobility and Security plus Windows Enterprise E3. And also some additional stuff around Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 on the right hand side there. This is a really valuable SKU. It's got a ton of features that are useful. Let's just head back and look at one final way that we can get all the functionality we need. If we look at Microsoft 365 Business and in the Premium SKU, again, we've got all of Office 365, all of Enterprise Ability and Security, and Windows licensing too. There is even some Defender for Business stuff on the right-hand side there. Now, you might notice that there is actually a smaller number of things you get within Enterprise Ability and Security there, and similarly, with Windows, it's not the full list that you get in the Enterprise SKU, but it is certainly enough to do Autopilot. We have Azure AD Premium, and we also have Intune MDM and MAM. Let's just head back. So we know that most organizations need Office 365 licensing because they're using Exchange Online for email. If we want to uplift this licensing to allow Autopilot, then we need Azure AD Premium Plan 1 and Intune. If you wanted to uplift your licensing, from Office 365 E3 to support Autopilot, you only need to purchase Azure AD Premium Plan 1 and Intune. They're both available separately. If you were to add them separately, they cost around $6 per user per month, so it would cost an additional $12 per user per month on top of your Office 365 E3 licensing. That's where these bundles come in. Enterprise Ability and Security only cost an extra $8 per user per month, so that's an immediate saving. And then you've got to buy your Windows licensing on top separately. So you may be better off looking at Microsoft 365 Enterprise E3. Finally, I'd just like to thank Aaron Dinage for putting this website together. It's made my life as a consultant and trainer so much easier. If we just scroll down to the bottom of this website, you can see we've got the user guide here. 
take a look at this user, user guide. It's full of useful information. Also notice what Aaron says about how he's put together m365maps.com. And it's really important to know that this isn't funded by Microsoft. This is completely in Aaron's own time. Please donate to Aaron's PayPal just to help him support this website. It really does make everyone's life easy. I'm sure you'll find a lot of use out of it in the future.